guys, uh, Infinite here again. Um, gonna do a second tutorial for you guys this week. Um, this is actually, I was just going through some old patches I made, and this is uh, one of my favorite patches I made from ages ago. Um, it just kind of reminded me of the growl from that Bear Noise and Skrillex tune, Scatta. Um, obviously it's not exact, but it's pretty cool. It's like this real gritty thing. Um, sounds like this. Yeah, definitely pretty sweet. It just sounds really fat and it's got a really cool like textured-ish kind of thing to it. Um, so yeah, let's do it up. Um, <coughs> We'll just start with the new, new patch, new patch here. Sorry, um, we're gonna use all three oscillators for this one. Oscillator one, we're gonna grab. Um, where did it go? Why can't I see this? Sorry, there it is. Chrome for oscillator one. I'll pitch that down, a full octave. Uh, change to a bend. Minus plus oscillator two, gonna grab modern talking, change that to a bend minus plus as well, and oscillator three, we will grab carbon, and we'll change that to a bend minus plus as well. Um, oscillator two and needs to be pitched down one octave, oscillator three needs to be pitched down two octaves, and then we'll adjust our start like parameters here. Um you can leave oscillator one. Oscillator two is gravity intensity, put a little bit down just past around eleven o'clock ish. Um the amp will be good about there. Oscillator three have the amp same as number two and crank the intensity all the way up on that one. And it'll sound like this. So it's just kinda a plain gritty type sound. Um grab your filter band reject, cut off just about there, your bandwidth, bring it down to about there, a resonance you want all the way down, and it'll sound like that. Yeah, we'll grab LFO now, we'll start, we'll start doing some cool fun stuff with, give your sound that movement, um, we grab a parameter, or a um, performer, sorry. I cannot talk right now, sorry. Uh, let's do it like that for now. Put it to 1 2 ratio. Make sure your X fade and amp mod all the way up. Um, drag that to your wavetable position on oscillator 1. Drag it all the way to the left. Drag it to your wavetable position, oscillator 2. And do it about there. And then we'll do some stuff to your filter here. Modulate the bandwidth to that should be good. It sounds like that right now. It's just kind of like you're not really getting much of the the high end grit, like grit part to it that you want. Um, insert effects. We'll turn both these on, and we're both gonna make them the exact same. Actually, I just made like I said, I made this patch a while ago. I think I just did this to get a little more grit out of it. So I did both of them the same here. Um, settings about there. And then I modulated them with the performer to about right here on both. And dun, 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 dun. And then we went to our routing and we'll leave this one can come in after filter one, insert effect two, and then insert effect one. Just throw right after our first oscillator to give it. So it's going to be making that first oscillator sound fatter, and then it should sound like this right now. So we're, we're getting there, ish. I'll uh, go to our voicings tab. I just use two voices for this as well. Hit my pitch cutoff slightly to the right. And then hit pan position. So we're getting there.
Um, effect slot one, we'll grab a classic tube, and I'll just leave the settings. I have them the same. Just like that. And then effect slot two, grab a dimension expander. And this is kind of, just turn the size, it gets a bit muddy with the size, so turn that down. And your sound will sound like that. And then I did a bunch of EQ stuff with this, just to kind of fill it out. And turn your EQ on. Um, I left the low shelf, took the boost down a tiny bit, frequency down a tiny bit, and just the high down a little bit. And then modulate it with the performer. Just um, like that. And then starting to sound like that's it, that's the fat. Then you can change whatever you want if you want to make it more more like kind of almost reverby with this patch moving the, uh, your pitch cut off valve right here. It's pretty cool and again like anything, if you're bored, can't make anything cool, hit the random button and just you know, you'll definitely come up with something cool. Um, download for the patch in the description if you don't want to follow along, whatever. Um, grab it there, leave me comments in the comment section if you guys liked it. Um, hit me up on my Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, all that stuff. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, as usual, this is somewhat helpful, and you guys can learn from it or use it in your tunes or whatever. Take it easy.